Hi everyone. As I mentioned earlier, uh, in Arranging One in Week 9, uh, we talk about form. So as an arranger, it's important to consider form because as an arranger, you have a lot of power over what happens over the course of an arrangement. And also you have a responsibility to the song itself to represent its components. So in this video, I just have a, a Word document open and I, I want to define the most essential topics we'll be discussing uh, just so that you have it all in one easy to reference video. So when we talk about form, there are two basic things people mean when they talk about form, song form and arrangement form. So song form are all of the different parts of a composition. So uh, you can think of this kind of as like the form that you find on a lead sheet. So on a lead sheet, you don't always write out every single part over and over again. You know, if, if there are verses that repeat, you don't totally write them out from scratch every time. Uh, so they're, uh, they're different parts of a composition and they include stuff like verses, refrains, choruses, stuff like this. Uh, the arrangement form, on the other hand, is everything that happens over the course of an arrangement. So if you're playing a, a composition and you've arranged it for an ensemble, you might play the verse, then go to a chorus, or, or even before then, you might have an introduction, then a verse, then a chorus. Uh, you might go back to the verse, you might go to an instrumental solo, and uh, this is what the form of an arrangement is. It, it takes the different parts of a song and uses some repetition and adds some components. So when it comes to pop music styles, I'm guessing many of you are familiar with these terms, verse, refrain, chorus. Uh, and so I'm just going to define them very quickly. Uh, I would say th uh, the verse is uh, best defined as like the story part of a composition. Uh, so in, in, a, in a song that uses lyrics, oftentimes the verse uh, conveys a lot of information uh, from the lyrics. Uh, it's often uh, repetitive. Uh, the refrain, on the other hand, is uh, usually the hook of a song. Uh, oftentimes, lyrically, it contains the name of the song. Uh, so the classic example of a refrain is a, a Bob, Dylan, Bob Dylan tune that many people are familiar with, Times They Are a Changin'. So in that song, there are verses and refrains. In, in, the, in the verses, Bob Dylan is telling this story. Uh, in the refrain, it's at the end, uh, end of a verse, and it's, it's oftentimes the hook, times they are a-changing. Uh, a chorus is similar to a refrain, except it's more substantial. It's its own section. So in a chorus, the, a, a chorus is lyrically repetitive. And I would say uh, musically, it's often elevated. Like uh, the chorus often will have a hook. Uh, it's perhaps a little bit more exciting than the verse. And it's, uh, it's repetitive lyrically but maybe a little bit more exciting musically. Now, simple binary form is the term we use to describe any music that has two main sections. Uh, and the two most common types of simple binary form are verse chorus, and this is uh, the common style of uh, lyric driven pop music. Uh, and uh, common examples of this tune include, uh, the example I often play in class is uh, the Beatles tune, it, what's it called, like uh, Drive My Car? 
that this uh, Drive My Car is a, an excellent example of a song that has verses and choruses. And then AABA form uh, is a common style of uh, like jazz influenced, or I'll, I'll say jazz and Tin Pan Alley influenced music. Uh, so uh, when you study the, the music uh, that has become American popular song standards, like music by George Gershwin and, and Jerome Kern and composers like that, they're often a a b a there uh, each of these letters represents a section each section is usually eight measures long so you have a section that repeats then a contrasting session uh, section and you go back to the first section i actually think i'm going to stop this video here and i'm going to upload a, a next video talking about bridges complex binary and blues forms all right cool thanks bye